Hello folks, Bryony Thomas here, the author and founder of Watertight Marketing. And I'm here today on day two of 10 days celebrating, marking and learning from the, the last decade that I've spent as an entrepreneur. What we're also doing every day is giving away something that you can use to power your own business growth and your own entrepreneurial success. So today's lesson and gift go together. Today's lesson is to catch and communicate your ideas. And today's gift is a copy of the book in which I did that. 10 people today on a, uh, on a random basis, so put your name into the hat and we will pull out 10 people who will receive a signed copy of my best-selling book, Watertight Marketing. So today's giveaway, not only includes the book, but when you have a copy of Watertight Marketing, you have access to so much more of the ideas that I've caught and communicated over the last decade. So if you are gonna go for the, the free copy of the book today, many of you have already got a copy of Watertight Marketing, but don't worry, put a note in and a postal address and we can send it to somebody else that you think would enjoy the materials. And when you get a copy of the book, it also unlocks the workbooks. So here are the workbooks, and you can download them as a PDF with your copy of the book. And that's what we're giving away free today, 10 copies. And it goes very much to today's lesson, which is to catch and communicate your ideas. Whether you're in a knowledge business or not, catching the way that you do things, the process, the thoughts will absolutely stand you in good stead for running a better business and for setting yourself apart. I did this in quite an ad hoc way because it happened organically. I was presenting at lots of events and so I had slideware. I was putting proposals together for clients and so I caught the ideas in the proposals. And then I came to the idea of writing the book and so it became more systematic. And by systematically catching my ideas, they got stronger and better. Not only did catching the ideas kind of put them into one place so that I could look at them in the whole and see the patterns and the sequences, but the more I communicated those ideas through talks, through blogging, through video, the more I became familiar with the stories that brought them to life the better my metaphors became. And so I would say to you, get really systematic about catching and communicating your ideas. Whether that's as simple as keeping a notebook on you at all times and after a meeting or an event, you jot down the things that made you go, ooh, or mm, anything that makes you have a response, either by making you curious or angry or excited and you and it triggers some thought process and you note it down communicate those ideas through blogging and if you're not a writer then do it on video if you don't like being on camera then do it on a podcast the more you catch and communicate your ideas the better they become and the better known you become for them so if you're not a knowledge you know I, I sell my knowledge if you're not someone who sells their knowledge why would you do this well, one of our clients um, builds beautiful orangeries, and the process and ideas that he's caught is the way that he goes through the planning process. That is securing planning permission and planning out a brilliant orangery. This sets him apart. I was speaking to another client who has uh, an online business selling homewares, and the way that she runs the business, the way that they photograph their, their products, these are things to catch and communicate because whilst now she's busy running this business, let's imagine, let's fast forward five years when the business may be bigger and she may be on stages talking about how to run e-commerce businesses. So whatever business you're in, whether you sell your knowledge or not, catching your knowledge and communicating your knowledge will always, always stand you in good stead. So some ways to do this. You've got a smartphone. Record yourself. When you have the idea, get the idea down. 
Commit to at least writing one blog post per month. Have a think about doing Facebook Lives, podcasts. And I dare you, I challenge you to think about putting it all into a book. My book, which is what I'm giving away free today, so 10 copies of Waterstack Marketing signed by me are available today. If you already have a copy, then just put a note that you would like me to leave for a friend and their postal address and we'll pop it in the post to them. My book radically altered the path for this business, radically altered it. It's allowed me to set myself apart. It's allowed me to lay claim to my intellectual property. It's allowed me to scale the business through creating licensing, through creating online courses and training programs. None of that would have happened if I hadn't forced myself to take the time to catch and communicate the ideas. And the great thing about writing a book and writing a book um, in a really considered way is that it makes the material better. I'm not someone, anyone, anyone who knows me will know, I'm not someone who you know, writes a book in an afternoon and fires it off to Amazon. It took me four years to write it. And in doing that, I was really careful in the way that I sequenced it. I also put it down for six months in which I didn't look at it at all. And when I came back to it, I came back to it with fresh eyes, which meant that I was able to um, read it like a reader. And it got better. And now by putting the book into the hands of my licensees and all the clients, it gets even better. They use it in ways that I'd never thought of. They feed back on the way the ideas have set them free and what they've done with it. And they use it in contexts that I didn't write it for. And suddenly there's a whole new market. So by catching and communicating your ideas, you stand yourself apart. You create a bank of material and content that allows you to reach more people and your ideas improve. So I would say carry a notebook, use those features on your smartphone, get your ideas down and do everything you can to communicate those ideas to the world because the more you talk about them, the stronger they get. The more fluent you get, and the more stories and examples you'll pick up by the response that you get from communicating it. Blog it, pod it, vlog it, speak on stages. Catch those ideas, communicate those ideas, and you can commercialize those ideas. So that's it from me today. Do share in the comments how you have caught and communicated your ideas and how that has set your business apart. For me in my journey over the last 10 years, doing this and doing it consistently and always has absolutely set this business apart. And it's allowed me to, in the last couple of days, I've been working on this, it is quite possibly the most excited I've been about a piece of content in years. Having caught, having communicated, having learned from what I've put out into the world, I'm now creating software with it. And when I was sitting down to, to create this report that's going to come out the end of a diagnostic tool that we're putting together on 13 Touchpoint Leaks, I had all the material to cut and paste into all the report variants. Only by catching your ideas, by organizing your ideas, and by communicating your ideas, do you give yourself the body of material that will allow you to springboard, that will allow you to grow, and will allow you to scale without always having to be in the room. So today's gift, as I say, is 10 signed copies of the Watertight Marketing book. When you get a copy of the Watertight Marketing book, you can register it, and you register it to get the workbooks. This is again me catching my ideas. This is just everything I've always scribbled on whiteboards, made into a set of exercises. And everybody who has a copy of the Watertight Marketing book can register it and get PDF copies of these workbooks. All made possible by catching and communicating my ideas. So that's it from me today. Go and grab yourself a copy of the book or gift it to someone you think will get value from it. So much love from me. I will see you tomorrow at 10am. Lots of love.